Thanks for checking out this video. Let's talk about what's coming to Shutter for November. Uh, once again, thank you very much, Shutter, for always hooking me up with your press releases, letting me know what's going on. But the most important thing is actually not just what's coming in November, but looking ahead to what is coming in December. When I'm shooting this video right now, I'm putting it up same day. It is the 25th of October. It is Friday. It is the uh, Joe Bob's uh, Halloween Hoot Nanny that is happening tonight, which I'm very excited about, as I'm sure a lot of you are who watch this on the same day. Um, there was an announcement today that was just done by Joe Bob, and then Shutter backed it up, and they sent a press release for it, that Joe Bob will also be doing a Christmas special on Friday the 13th in December, so that is going to be awesome. And much like all of his things, it will start at 9 p.m. that night. So we have that to look forward to after this Halloween Hoot Nanny, which I know is going to be good. I'm just hoping for, for uh, Halloween 3, like a lot of people are, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so let's go over what's uh, what's going to be on Shutter for November. Um, some good ones in here. I already looked ahead. So just so you guys know, it, all, it usually starts with, and I'll give you the dates, but it usually starts with the Shutter originals and exclusives, and then it goes chronologically after that. So the first one we have is Reborn. This is a, going to release the 7th of November. Toshiro, a former Special Forces operative, now lives a quiet life in the Japanese countryside. Despite his seemingly peaceful existence, Toshiro struggles to contain the destructive impulses that once made him the top soldier in an elite unit of killers. When his former commanding officer, the enigmatic Phantom, weird name, <laughs> comes out of the shadows seeking revenge, Toshiro goes on a kill-crazy rampage against a squad of ruthless assassins with a dazzling display of close quarters martial arts. It's a Shutter exclusive. So, sounds more of like a more of like an action ordeal. Um, it sounds kind of fun. I might check that out. Uh, the next one is, this one's a Shudder exclusive as well. It's called A Bluebird in My Heart. This one is coming out November 14th. Danny, an ex-inmate in Belgium, is housebound in a small hotel with an electronic ankle bracelet as a condition up for his parole. The hotel's owner is more than willing to host former prisoners until they get back on their feet. She's married to a convicted felon who is doing time, and she knows how difficult it can be to re-enter society. She's having a tough time raising, raising on her own, raising her own daughter Clara, a diabolically beautiful teenager who is trying to get a bit too personal with Danny. Mm. He understands that kid is looking for a father figure, but he has to help himself before he can help others. <laughs> this hope for redemption is. However, soon shattered when Clara is assaulted, forcing Danny to face his old demons again. Um, I don't know. Gotta be honest, that... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Wasn't, wasn't pulled in by that synopsis, but we'll see. Then the next one is... Uh, this is the last of the Shutter exclusive. This is Necrotronic, with a K instead of a C for Necro. Necrotronic. This comes out November 21st. An outrageous new horror comedy from hell from the create from hell. Okay. An outrageous an outrageous new horror comedy from hell from the creators of Wormwood. Howard North, a down on his luck sewage worker, interesting, gets dragged into a global conflict between the necromancers, a family of badass demon hunters, and Finnegan, an evil demon who absorbs people's souls to increase her power. When Howard finds out the truth behind Finnegan's past and her dark plans for the future, he teams up with his new friends to discover he is the ultimate necromancer, <laughs> the only one with the power to defeat her and save the world. Sounds like it can be fun. It kind of sounds like in the same vein as like uh, Todd in the Book of Pure Evil or Stand Against Evil or Ash vs. Evil Dead, like something kind of in that vein. So it sounds kind of fun. I could check that out. Okay. So now for the movies coming in November. November 1st, you will see Session 9 hitting hitting there. Um, I'll go ahead and do the synopses because these are kind of small. A lot of people already know Session 9. I think it's, uh, I remember it being quite a good film, but it has been probably well over 10 years, maybe close to 15 years since I've seen this film. So uh, yeah, Session 9. Tensions rise within an asbestos cleaning crew as they work in an abandoned mental hospital with a horrific past. I would recommend that one. Check it out. Uh, I definitely recommend this next one, which it's too bad it's not hitting Shutter in October, 
but it is November 1st, so it's right there. So it would be a good kind of Halloween hangover movie. It's Trick or Treat. Not Trick or Treat, Trick or Treat. On the night when demons and tortured souls are free to walk the earth alongside mortal revelers, four tales of terror will make you laugh even while scaring you. This movie is actually one of my favorite movies all time. One of my favorite all time movies. I watch it every Halloween night after giving out candy. So come November 1st, I will not watch it on Shudder because I actually own the Blu-ray, but I will be watching it Halloween night. And I highly recommend it. If nobody, if you're watching this and you've not seen Trick or Treat, it is a must do it. Uh, the next one I think I've seen, but it's also been a while. Tales from the Crypt Demon Night with Billy Zane. Uh, an odd drifter possesses the last of seven ancient keys that hold the power to protect humanity from the ultimate evil. Um, yeah, I, uh, I might watch that because I know it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure I have seen it, but I'll check it out. The next one, also coming out on the first, I'm pretty excited about because, well, I mean, I own it, but the quality will probably be better because I just own it on DVD. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. This is a good one. Ten years after writer and director Wes Craven brought his personal nightmares to the movie screen as Freddy Krueger in A Nightmare on Elm Street, the horrifying child killer returns, stepping out of his celluloid world to haunt the life of the actress who first defeated him on film. It is a really meta film, by the way. This is one that I know at some point I will review for my normal uh, movie reviews, but check that movie out if you haven't watched it. November 4th. Very excited that this one's coming audition this is a takashi miike film uh for people out there who don't know takashi miike is a very well-known director from japan he pumps out films like crazy not all of them are good it's a real mixed bag but his good ones are great uh some of my favorites ichi the killer obviously audition is definitely up there um he uh dead or alive is a really good one shinjuku triad society fudo goes on and on. Deadly Outlaw, Rekka. It goes on and on and on. I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So, audition. Uh, a man begins a relationship with a very deadly female killer in Takashi Miike's ultra-gory masterpiece. Widower Ayoama falls for the radiant and mysterious Asami, but as he delves into her past, he learns her former acquaintances have either gone missing or have missing limbs. Will he be next? If you haven't seen it, be warned. When the needles come out, there's no turning back. It's a good film. Definitely see that. Deep Murder. Not familiar with this. This raunchy horror comedy delves... Well, you got me right there, to be honest. Raunchy horror comedy, you got me. I will be seeing this. This raunchy horror comedy delves deep into the story of a deranged killer as he slashes his way across a softcore porno. Definitely got my interest. <laughs> Who will last the longest as the stiffs pile up and the killer plows through his victims? I see what you did there. Some innuendos. Pretty funny. Uh, November 11th. Excited for this. Bride of Reanimator. Because like I've said, if you've seen my review for Reanimator, I have not yet seen Bride of Reanimator or Reanimator or Beyond Reanimator. So this will be my first time. I'll check it out on Shutter on November 11th. On or around. Uh, in this sequel to Stuart Gordon's cult comedy horror uh, Reanimator Herbert West returns once again, ready to have another go at bringing the dead back to life. Aided by his assistant, Dr. Kane, the pair set about making their own Frankenstein's monster from various female parts they find in the hospital morgue, attempting to make the perfect woman. However, things go, don't go to plan, duh. When a local sheriff and hospital doctor attempt to thwart the duo's plans in this screamingly funny parody of The Bride of Frankenstein. We'll check that out. Also on the 11th, Tetsuo. So I own this movie, Tetsuo, and I haven't watched it yet. I've owned it for like a long time and I haven't watched it yet, but I've had interest and I've seen, I've seen like clips of it and I've seen the trailer. It looks amazing. This surreal Japanese cult sensation profiles a man who mutates into a metal being. M-E-T-A-L. Somewhere between a modern-day nightmare and a techno-fetishist's ultimate fantasy, this incredible film took viewers on a surreal journey into a dark and disturbing world where self-inflicted body transformations and post-human women form the fabric of a strange new reality. There's like a whole series of these kind of like really weird out there like body uh, transformation horror films from Japan. So... 
just in case people have interest in that, you should check it out. I think my cat's screaming in the background. Sorry about that if you end up hearing it. All right, so November 18th. Uh, I'm excited about this one, too, because this is a movie that I've been wanting to watch anyway. I've been doing a bunch of reviews of Dario Argento films on my channel, so I've been looking to do some more, and this is one that I was looking to do. The Cat O9 Tales. In Dario Argento's fearsome follow-up to The Bird with Crystal Plumage, a blind man and a reporter investigate a series of slayings connected to a secret genetic facility. The sluice quickly narrow it down to nine suspects, including the Institute head's beautiful daughter. But each time they get close to solving the crimes, the killer strikes again, as you would assume from Giallo. Argento trademarks abound here, including stylized use of color during murder scenes, extreme eyeball close-ups, and a Hitchcockian finale on a roof that echoes north by northwest. Definitely excited for that one. Always looking forward to check out more Argento. Then we also have Season of the Witch. This is a George A. Romero film. Uh, a bored, unhappy housewife takes up an interest in witchcraft after a chance encounter with an occult practitioner. Soon she finds herself drawn to the craft in ways that may be unlocking hidden powers or perhaps is merely loosening her grip on reality. One of Romero's most challenging experimental works. Um, I'll definitely check that out just because I'm always down to check out more Romero. I've not seen this one, so... That's on my list. And then the last one coming out November 25th is called The Baby. Not familiar with this one. A social worker tries to rescue an adult baby from his very... Adult baby? Okay, adult... <laughs> tries to rescue an adult baby from his very creepy family in this essentially essential 70s cla cult classic. Sorry. Anne is determined to help Baby, whom she sus suspects is being kept in this... In his infant infantile state. Sorry infantile state by his mean mommy but the more Anne tries to play miracle worker the more she puts herself in grave danger mommy likes things just as they are one of the weirdest horror films to come out of the 1970s and that's saying a lot the baby is the kind of twisted delight you flip out over and then spend the rest of your life showing to friends okay well that description has sold me uh i'm definitely into really weird wacky stuff and that sounds weird and wacky so I'm down, gonna do it. All right, so um, yeah, put some comments down here. Let me know what are you interested in that's that's coming. Obviously, I'm very pleased that they're putting Trick or Treat on there. The Cat and Nine Tales, I'm very interested in. Audition, Tetsuo, a lot of good stuff for, for November. It would be really nice to kind of have those things available after the inevitable letdown of October being over. So um, let's talk. You Also, if you guys want to put some comments down there about uh, Joe Bob stuff, let's get nerdy about that. I'm always down to. Please help me out. Hit that subscribe if you like any videos I do. That's the best way to pay me back. It takes you literally a second, costs you nothing, and I appreciate it. So thanks again for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.